Hey guys, in this section we're going to uh, take a deep dive into, well, the ASIN deep dive. So uh, this is uh, part of the sourcing secret where uh, you can um, really dive into everything uh, that you could possibly try to get out of uh, any listing. So, um, you know, uh, the reason that we created this with so many other similar things out there is that uh, we always had to switch back and forth between a lot of different things. So uh, with this tool, we've kind of brought together, um, you know, the best of all the other tools to get the most amount of information possible on a listing. And a lot of information we really just haven't seen anywhere else that we thought, uh, you know, let's just put something together where we can get um, everything that, you know, any either Amazon or third-party tools could possibly give us about a listing, um, you know, so we can make the most educated decision. And more importantly, uh, you know, streamline it and do it as, uh, you know, quickly and easily as possible without having to use multiple tools and Chrome extensions and, and all that stuff and hopefully look at that in one place. So uh, very easy to get to. You can just uh, click on the ASIN Deep Dive um, and um, I've brought up a few listings and all we have to do is enter an ASIN. Any ASIN on any of these platforms will work, um, all 11 of them so far. Um, we're going to look at one on Amazon.com though. Um, and um, I brought up, uh, this is one of basically the hottest toys um, out for, um, you know, Q4 2018. Uh, super hard to get. Um, so, you know, there's quite a few sellers on it, which is what I like to use as an example so we can uh, just see a lot of information. So, um, obviously, we have the title, um, the title and description, and then, um, you know, images of the product. So, we'll bring in all images and... Um, you have your brand and you can download all the products in this brand with one click. You can just click on it. It downloads um, all the information that we have. Um, if we have contact information for opening accounts, and uh, these are kind of an exclusive right now. So um, Walmart, Target, Meijer, and a couple of the other big box stores are the only ones who have it. Um, and each one of those uh, seems to have exclusives, at least Walmart and Target has exclusive versions of some of their toys. So. Um, we're not really here to talk about this product, but just about, um, you know, the, um, uh, you know, the information in general. So um, this is like a between $35 and $40 toy wherever you buy it. Buy box price is currently $65.95, um, as we can see here. And we're kind of going to talk about each um, each section. So you really have your best, uh, um, your best opportunity to get all the information you need. Uh, so the next one is the buy box suppress. So this is, you know, obviously if it's a suppressed buy box, um, you don't get sales like you would at, um, you know, with um, a product with a buy box. Um, but, you know, uh, an item that's ranked 10,000 is going to still sell the same as an item ranked 10,000, you know, without the buy box. So, um, you know, I don't pay it um, a whole lot of attention to that. But, um, you know, I just know that, um, you know, if all things are, are equal, we obviously want, um, you know, a product with a buy box. So it's very good um, to know that information. We know that about 80% of the products on Amazon sell, um, that sell, have a buy box. Um, but alternatively, that also means that 20% of the products that sell um, have a, a suppressed buy box. So that's still a significant amount. Um, the next one is if it's a pre-order item. Um and that's kind of self-explanatory. Now, the next one is, um, is the buy box an FBA seller? And does Amazon hold the buy box? Um, and then when we look over here, um, we have a manufacturer. And then we, if it has a parent ASIN, and it does. And I brought that one up as well. And uh, we can see that. Um, Uh, so you know this is actually a variation in the category it's in and then the root category. And you can take this and plug it into the product search and you can download, um, you know, the top 100,000 products in, uh, in that root category then. Uh, then we have a simple uh, Keepa chart, which we're going to be adding more data to, but it, it does give you a quick look at at least what the pricing is doing uh, recently. Um, and then uh, down here, you'll um, you'll notice in the first column that there is a lot of duplicate information 
Um, and that's uh, because, you know, if it's a toy, um, all those distribution systems may be the same brand, and quite often they are. But when you get to things like books and media um, and other, you know, similar products, um, music, all that stuff may have a different label, studio, and publisher, um, as well as the manufacturer that was on the last page. Um, so in this case, they're all bonkers toys, but... Um, you know, in some cases, they may be uh, three different companies. Um, the genre it's in, there's no genre or model or edition listed. But again, in, you know, books, media, music, um, there's that information and all that time. It's very important. Um, also, we have the UPC and the EAN numbers. Um, is the product hazmat? Yes or no? Um, I know a lot of people are having a hard time with that, but... We're um, doing it quite reliably now. Um, and uh, the color, um, the size, um, and then uh, total units. So this is the total number of products that are available from both FBA and Merchant Fulfilled Sellers. And if we look over here, we can see how many items are available uh, between all the FBA sellers and all the Merchant Fulfilled Sellers. Um, then platform format and promotions if that information is available total offer counts will be the number of sellers on a product um, and if it's eligible for trade-in so if it is eligible for trade-in we also can show you the uh, the trade-in price um, if it's eligible for a subscribe and save this is not that product uh, and if it's eligible for super saver shipping Eligible for Super Saver shipping, that usually means, uh, you know, if it, is it available on Prime, uh, but it's usually going to say no if uh, the buy box is suppressed. Um, then, is it an add-on item? Obviously, if it's selling for under 10 bucks, it's, you know, a, a lot of times it's going to be an add-on item. Um, and then, if it's an adult product, yes or no, uh, also very important. Um, number of items. Uh, so this will be if it's a multi-pack, so it'll show as one. Um, obviously, if it's not a multi-pack, um, availability from Amazon. There's no Amazon offer currently. Um, then, you know, the Amazon part number and manufacturer's part number, which is just whoever creates a listing uh, makes that number. Um, and then, again, the stock per conditions uh, that we already talked about. And then dimensions and weight. Um, so... This is going to um, show you in millimeters, inches, and feet um, for heights, widths, and lengths. And then the weight is showing um, the grams, kilograms, and pounds. Um, possible matching EANs. So this is going to show any EANs that um, are linked to the product as well as UPCs. Um, and then frequently bought together. Uh, you can actually click on this and it'll open a new one. I don't want to do that because we're looking at this one, but um, it is clickable. So um, it'll bring up another page just like this uh, for uh, the frequently bought together product. Um, and then the next section is uh, the current uh, number of sellers. So um, this is going to actually show you, um, and we are currently working on uh, an integration with the how many um, extension or tool um, and uh, so it shows you the seller ID uh, the conditions of all the sellers if they're merchant fulfilled or FBA um, as well as the merchant name uh, their price and how much stock they have and then the next one is how much it would cost to buy out that competitor so if you wanted to buy um, everything uh, from them um, what that total would co cost would be. And then the subscribe and download buttons are similar to what you see um, in other places like the store section um, and you're able to subscribe to uh, that seller and every day you'll get um, a listing of everything that uh, they have up to their top 100,000 um, ASINs. And then uh, the download button will just let you download it immediately the subscribe is going to email it to you um, and this shows all the sellers available and then um, the buy box seller history um, is, is similar but this is going to show you everybody who's on the buy box date and time that they got it um, and then um, you know same information on the sellers and you can subscribe or download uh, from that seller um, as well 
um, and it shows the whole history. Some of these go back a couple of years. Um, you know, so a ton of great data. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, I'd love to, we'd obviously love to expand on this. So uh, any ideas, um, let us know on that. But, um, you know, we use this when we want to dig deep into a brand and, you know, switching back and forth between Chrome extensions and all that has just not been optimal for us. So um, this is how we've um, solved that problem. Hope you like it and we'll see you in the next video.